This is an easy way to use double stops around the chord shapes you already know. Sounds like this. So what I'm doing is taking a C shape E major chord at the seventh fret, building with the pinky. That's seven, six, four, five, right? We have root, third, fifth, and the octave on top. Now, it's a very simple trick because I'm using the major scale in this position. We have the fourth and fifth fret on the G and B. What we're gonna do is just hammer the ring finger to the sixth fret on the G string. And you really barely have to come out of position for that, by the way. The next one is a little bar on the fourth fret of the D and G, using the ring finger to hammer onto the sixth. So, moving to the A shape E major chord here, seventh fret as well. And this is again, simple idea, building off this sort of G shape E major here. And I'm barring the ninth fret on the D and G, hammering with the ring finger onto the 11th, doing the same thing, string up on the A and D. And the last one I did is sort of built off the Wind Cries Mary, right? And that's just built off the E shape major pentatonic scale right here at the 12th fret. So I'm barring the 12th fret on the B and E, hammering the ring finger to the 14 on the B, right? And the next one is similar to the shape we had back here for the C. And that's gonna be 11th fret G, 12th fret on the B string, hammering to the 14 on the G with the ring finger. So one last time. Hope this video was helpful. Like and follow for more. I'll see you in the next one.